Hey Facebook, hey YouTube, how's it going people? Come a little early in my sunset time to speak to you and to unload um, what I'm learning right now, which is very exciting. Um, I want to share with you because um, maybe you're aware, maybe you're not, um, you know, my stage of my journey and um, all the stuff I'm, I'm learning is, uh, it's just unreal. I feel like um, we're in a very privileged um, time as human beings. Um, with the information that's out there, you know, transformational information. And it's not just that, it's transformational information. There's um, a gathering of all of us that have been woken up, all connecting the dots. And now we're building communities in real life and on Facebook and social media and both. So it's very fucking exciting times. Um, and, and what's exciting for me is something that you can relate to because it's exciting for you because there's so much to discover. You know, yes, the world is in a way of looking at going to shit and conspiracies real and all that stuff, yada yada yada. And by the way, even if the world does go to shit, guess what? That means that pe everyone's going to wake up. So we're, we're temporal beings. We're all going to fucking die anyway, right? It doesn't really matter if the world goes to shit, you know, because it's, we will, we're not even our bodies. We know this logically. I'm not saying I'm not scared to not experience death or nothing. We just, you know, all this stuff. Right, Lisa. Now let's get back to the topic. I was a bit off topic. So... Oh, actually, Lisa, if you're watching, this is perfect, because I was going to ask you, actually, I was going to message you about Joey Dispenza's work, because I've been listening to podcasts for like a month and a half now, from, from nothing at all, hardly ever, because it was on the internet, now I've been, I was smart, and not smart, I started to wake up and think, oh, I've got an MP3 player, maybe I can put, instead of just listening to my Equisync and Binaural Beats, I can put some podcasts on, so since then, pretty much every day I listen to podcasts, and that's really opened up my mind um, to new information, and my rate of learning's gone up, because now instead of being on the internet inside my room, and watching YouTube videos, which I did rarely, podcasts, that's a lot. So anyway, um, wow. you know, I've known about Joey Dispenza before, just as I knew about Emily Fletcher and um, her meditation before. But it's funny, I wasn't ready for the information of Emily Fletcher when I watched the videos of hers a few years ago on what what is in effect transcendental meditation. I loved it, and I watched a load of them, but I, I didn't, don't know why, but I didn't try it. But I believed everything she was saying. So it takes a few years for some of us, right? So now I'm on Transcendental Meditation, and Amy Vletch, I was ready for information. Same with Joe Dispenza. I listened to I listened to him before and liked his information. So much so that I'll show you something. So much so I like his information that this book I bought a long time ago too. I know it's his old one, Breaking Habit, Being Himself. I bought this pretty much when it came out um, a few years ago now. Uh, I bought The Becoming Supernatural. I um, uh, haven't got it with me now. He's going to buy another copy of that. It's got chucked away, unfortunately. Yeah, he's, he's fucking amazing. Let me. I will talk a lot about him. Um, his stuff. But even when I read the book last no, I think it came out the last not last October, the to, October before, and I watched it and uh, I read it and I was like, whoa, blown away. But now I understand at a deeper level what's going on with um, Joey Dispenza. And what's given me this understanding of what Joey Dispenza talks about, because there's a link between transcendental meditation, states of transcendence that you can achieve through transcendental meditation. It's not really the goal, because you don't want to you don't want to get in this mindset with transcendental meditation, which is very easy to do, by the way. Um, you don't want to get in a mindset of like, I have to achieve transcendence every time. So, you you know, you do meditate to feel better. So you let free from outcome. Right. That's the whole point of meditation. If you want it too much, you won't get it. But anyway, transcendental meditation can give you a state of transcendence. Right. And. And I was in Joe, Joe Dispenza today um, with Lewis Howes. He's got so many interviews. I'm going to listen to a load of them now. I'm, I'm obsessed. But here's the thing. I'm obsessed with Joey Dispenza, but it's not just from a theory-based point. I'm going to start practicing, uh, most probably. i build it up slowly, um, all these exercises that Joey Dispenza talks about to build brain and heart coherence. And the reason why I want to do it is because I'm very much interested in the idea that Joey Dispenza talks about, which is very true, and I resonated before, and now I resonate more, with nothing. Like the quantum field. Like how to achieve bliss, how to achieve higher states of being, how to unlock the supercomputer subconscious. It's in no, no thing. How to, to, same as transcendence. Transcendence is when you lose your, lose your state of being. You forget you have a body. And you go into another the infinite another state of being, the fourth state of consciousness. Well, Joey Dispenza talks about the same thing with the quantum field. You become nothing. But to get to that point, you know, you, you lose yourself, sense of self. It's not a bad thing. You, you you're you're doing so much with your heart to brain coherence and you're you're opening up your heart and everything's in synchronicity so much with all the hard work you do. By the way, and Joey Dispenser makes a point I think is very key in a podcast, I remember this. It's, it takes hard work. You know, this is why when you go to Joe Dispenza workshop, you have to do his online course and you have to prep. 
and um, I, I will in the future, but for now I'm going to get in, read the books and I'm going to try and do the exercises because my transcendental meditation has given me what I experience 17 days in transcendental meditation, doing it twice daily, minimum 20 minutes, but most of the time half an hour to 40 minutes, a little bit longer, but still 20 minutes would do wondrous twice a day, but it builds, the benefits build. Anyway, what the reason, the reason why I got into Joe Spender is my experience with transcendent, um, I haven't had transcendence from my transcendental meditation sessions, unfortunately, um, but at the same time, I've I've experienced um, high state of consciousness, and I can feel my body relaxing at a very deep level, and I can feel my brain coming into coherence, and I can feel my brain hemisphere balance. I can basically I've been feeling a lot going on with um, transcendental meditation, especially today um, and yesterday, as it builds, and I'm working on my physical health, so I've got a good base because my physical health is. Like, not perfect, but it's very high compared to a normal person. Not compared to you guys. We're all at a very good level here. You know, we're trying our best. But it's a very good foundation base. So now I can work. Now I've got a very good base of this. I take age urine every day. I don't eat too much. Um, fast a lot and uh, grounding and sun gazing. And um, I can build up with transcendental meditation. I can take myself to higher state of consciousness. And it, um, it's the same thing. What Joey Dispenser talks about is the same place you can experience with transcendental meditation. The thing with transcendental meditation, though, is... It will take a, a um, in my opinion, it's all. They both gonna take a long time. So unless you're a very high level of heart coherence, brain coherence, and very extremely good at physical health, then they're both high activations. I actually think transcendental meditation is gonna be easier to get to because it's easy to do. Whereas Joe Dispenser's work talks about Joe Dispenser will admit he, his program. You have to be disciplined if you want to experience some of the mystical experiences, the transcendence. If you want to experience transcendence the way Joe Dispenser does it, which I, I'm going to try, it's, I don't know, maybe take 20 years, or maybe I'm just talking, but I just like the ideas of it. I don't think I am, actually, because now I've got the TM. I'm down with the TM, which is much easier. Um, it takes hard work, and I also like that. appeals to my left brain ego. You know, I like the idea of, I've always loved the idea of, like, you know, setting myself out as someone that works hard in a particular field, and now that I know what I'm looking for in this transcendent state, which I sometimes get to experience, not fully, but I'm, I'm definitely having some crazy shit already 17 days into, as an extremely damaged person, it's kind of shocking to be honest with you. One of the biggest things I've noticed with transcendental meditation at this is that my right brain is really getting lit up. My left eyes, I'm looking through my left eye so much more, I can feel it whilst I'm doing transcendental meditation. I can feel my, my left eye, like, look, I can feel it, even though my eyes are closed, I can feel my left eye opening. I, oh, um, the, it's day, day 17. The first two weeks, pretty much every day, I get p pain in my left ear, the right brain. The left ear, is, uh, the left ear was painful, like during transcendental meditation. Not serious pain, guys. I said uh, previously, you know, don't be a pussy, Harry. But I'm not saying pain like pain, but I'm just making a point that pain was the right brain opening up. I stopped getting that now because uh, because it's healing. I know my right brain is getting much stronger with transcendental meditation. My point is that this Joey Dispenser, the, yeah, fucking fascinating i'm absolutely in love with what he's saying and i resonate strongly much more than i ever did with what he what he's talking about i get it i fucking get it on a deep level i know what he's saying is legit quantum field nothing um mystical experiences transcendence how to reprogram the subconscious is to go deep within not to look outside but to go inside at a very deep level to forget that you even exist to go into the quantum field in the quantum field you can't take your senses you can't take your sense of self into the quantum field you can't take your ego into the quantum field which is why it's really hard to get to and well, it's not really hard yeah it is hard but it's why most people don't get there because we all have been born into the matrix with egos and that's just the way we've lived our lives and we've never been taught as children how to um hush the ego with meditation mindfulness physical health protocols fasting we've never been taught so we're all brought into this matrix and now we have to put in a lot of work um to try and access this quantum field this transcendent transcendental meditation joey dispenser's work it's going to take a lot of work but i tell you what it's worthy and it's fucking exciting to me because that is what life's all about in duality we've come here for a reason I believe, to experience the best and the worst of life. And people like Joey Dispenser, Emily Fletcher, fucking legend, uh, Marishi, Mariashi, yogis, all are giving us transformation. They're all fucking legends because they've, they've, they've experienced levels of consciousness beyond what we think is like, you know, duality. Beyond duality, there is more. There is the one consciousness. And we can experience and tap into that, you know, not just for like, oh, peak experience and bliss and, you know, I take it back as a memory, but it profoundly changes you and it makes you, you know... It, it's, it's, it's got so many, I've got so many reasons to, to do this thing. It's going to be such a fucking cool thing. 
you know, real damaged as well. I'd love to reprogram my brain as best I can, as quick as possible before I die. Um, you think it's just for us. I think it's not even just for us. It's so that other people, we do it for, do it for other people. Because if you can do it, the thing, if you can do it as a really fucking damaged person, as a really damaged person, anyone else can do it. And you figure out ways. And one of the ways, transcendental meditation will get you there. The benefits of transcendental meditation um, are instant first 20 minute session. But then the thing that excites me about transcendental meditation, which I'm committed to lifelong, by the way. Yes, I do want experience, I guess, trans transcendence without being too needy about it. If you get too needy about it during your meditation, you're going to focus too much on your mantra and you're going to fuck it up. Not fuck it up, you still get benefits, but you're not going to get into that happy state. So you, you have to want something. But the thing that excites me the most about it that keeps me motivated and I know I'm going to do the rest of life. Not only does it change how I act in a day and how I think and my compassion and everything, but, um, you know, long term, it changes the coherence of your brainwave states, not just in the moment, but for, for your entire waking state afterwards, like hours and hours. If you do it twice daily, 20 minutes, eight, 10 hours after, your brain is just like, they say that, if you people that like twenty five to thirty years twice daily committed never never missed a session sometimes the state of transcendence the the, the high bliss even if they don't experience transcendence the the calm the real calm that is experienced when they do the two twenty minutes at twenty five years in right twenty twenty five years in that carries over pretty much twenty four seven outside of your waking life eight to ten hours after six hours out six hours after how cool is that that means you're your best version of yourself like um forever <laughs> or as much as possible isn't that what we want to be the best versions of ourselves as much as possible that's why we do meditation we die why we do urine therapy fruits and fasting and, and grounding sun gazing because the benefits feel good immediately you know when sun hits your skin beta endorphins it feels good straight away but the benefits of these things last longer especially the most powerful therapies they're not subtle at all they're so powerful knocks the major urine down it will last and last and last and last well with tm it lasts if you do it long enough and you commit to this discipline it's one of those things that we restructure your brain remember primarily we are damaged by the matrix yeah physically but it's really the, the game of the matrix in my opinion is to imbalance our brain hemispheres and to fuck up our brains and our mind because it's with the mind that we change with the thoughts the, the quantum field with the ego and discipline we can experience um, bliss and become it's all up here the mind that's what the matrix wants and um, Meditation, the like TM, and what Joey Spence talking about heart to brain coherence is going to affect that brain so that we can become the best version of ourselves. The physical body protocols are so fucking powerful too. I fucking love physical health, don't get me wrong. By the way, I have no idea what I'm talking about in most of this shit. It's just going the flow and getting out my excitement, really, at Joey Dispenser's, um, what he's saying and resonating. And finally, not a coincidence, again, oh, have come into TM at this moment in time, which I've now committed to, and now I understand transcendence and what Joey Dispenser saws. Maybe I'm being guided, I hope. I hope maybe the spirits want me to ac access some discipline, start putting in the work and um, slowly into doing Joe Dispenser's exercises for free. Um, and then so I can share the knowledge with other people. And but before I share, I think I'm going to have to get some ex before I'm passionate enough to share. I'm going to have to get some kind of experiences. Um, just like I do the transcendental med meditation, I have to get some experiences of transcendence, of accessing the quantum field before I can share with other people. Because then if I know if I can do it, anyone else can do it. And I'd be happy to to help other people. Of course, what? Well, I will be sharing, we'll take discipline. Um, these are not the things that we do now in this damaged society with our fucked up brains and, um, you know, the fourth state of consciousness. People are in the second state of consciousness. People are sleeping whilst they're awake. Yeah, not in a good way, in a dumb way. So, you know, we're already at a low vibration, unfortunately. Um, so that means that we have to do a lot more work. But it's okay because it's fun. That's that's my point, really. We're in duality to have fun and to exist and to be, to be examples to other people. So I'm quite happy to... That is my ego talking that's cool i'm quite happy to put in the work and be hardcore and to do the disciplines and experience as much as i can from my my brain and to get the most out of it and it's so exciting to me that people this is exciting to me that so many people go to joey dispenser uh, so many people support um his books buy his books and and go to his workshops and pay money and there's a huge thing going on there okay look some of them might not be into physical health as much they might have a little dab into physical health they're not probably not as much as us uh, physical health mastery but the people go joe spence they're still worthy and i'm starting to see now at, at a very deep level that emotions and emotional health is fucking huge physical health should be a great foundation i'll always love it and try to max the shit out of it but i know in my heart that emotional work and that's where the quantum field is accessed 
the quantum field can be accessed. The quantum field and transcendence, you don't even need to be, in my opinion, you don't even need to be super healthy. Although it will make it easier also, in my opinion, but you don't need to be super healthy to access the quantum field. It's a mind game. This is why you'll see fat yogis um, giving advice on spiritual shit and they've experienced the quantum field, um, one consciousness, divinity, uh, moments of transcendence. Um, with whatever tractors they're using, TM, Jerry Dispenser stuff, whatever. It's, 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 there is a correlation. Physical health will make it easier, but it's emotional health, emotional health where it's at. Um, you know, so guess what? I'm in a very privileged position, so are you guys, that we're not just one or the other, we're kind of both. And everyone has their unique masteries, you know, and I don't look to Joey Dispenser for advice on diet, for example, but I will look to Joey Dispenser as a fucking awesome intelligent human being and the ways expresses it as well and anime virtue with transcendental meditation i like people that are sim simple with what they say don't use ego to try and um detach and you know to say or use smart words and try and you know they're trying to connect because they've experienced such amazing things but then they can they can talk at a high level but they can also talk at a low level for each level and, and what they're saying is the truth, the truth of transcendental meditation and how powerful it is. Amy Fletcher, Amy Fletcher's a fucking genius. She's, she, you know, she's necessary in the movement because she said something powerful. It's no one, ever, no one's ever explained to myself, for example, that mindfulness is not the same as transcendental meditation. And she, and she said that transcendental meditation is designed, for, is more powerful. No one ever told me that before. People need to tell people like me what's more powerful because I'm not going to waste my time on something that I find hard. By the way, I've never committed to meditation in my life. Um, I've done it before uh, for periods of a time, one, two years, and I've given up. I never committed. Now I know that I'm going to commit to transcendental meditation twice a year for the rest of my life. And what made me commit is one person saying the same things as everybody else or a little bit different. But, you know, crazy, huh? It's crazy. I don't know what I was trying to say. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've got at um, least I've got to get. Um, I think you went to his workshop as well. I, I remember you messaging me one. I'm definitely want to go to his workshop, but like not until a few years time till I've experienced my own shit. I'm not going to go there as a newbie. I'm going to go to Joey Dispenser workshop in a few years time as someone who's already experienced, put in a lot of work and experienced. Um, and of course, I'll be doing a transcendental meditation, continuing that. So in a few years time, um, that's just going to build. I've told you the advantages of that build over time i can't think of many things that build and build and build so beautifully the science studies show and from real people that have done 25 30 years transformation every day it's fucking exciting to me this is why i said to you it's one of the most exciting times of my life that's just going to keep building 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 and it's not going backwards and i can maintain it because a lot of people you know what when people do this powerful practice like transcendental meditation they'll say, people will tell you no transcendental meditation sessions ever the same now that's true but if you're an ordinary person that doesn't look after your physical health too much, you won't understand like, oh shit, I ate, ate too much. I had three or four snacks there. I've eaten too much. So therefore, they won't understand the transit meditation is bad because of this. But when you're like me, I, c I know I can build a kind of good foundation. Not every session is the same for me either, but it can be more similar because I'm building a very high foundation with physical health. And I know what works with physical health and how I can get my mind up. So I can, instead of people um, saying, oh, um, one transcendental meditation, I was shit and I struggled and I had a shallow meditation. The next one was deep. And they were like, why does that happen? And then, you know, they think, oh, shit. Well, I can do pretty much what I want to. And especially if I add in longer term fasting, I've, I've got more, way more to experiment with that. Like when I start doing, I haven't done um, more than 24 hour fast in two months, three months now. It's kind of bad. But I'm looking forward to very much and very excited for going two, three days dry fasting or two days, um, probably going to dry fasting, but. 40, even a 48 hour dry fast with transcendental meditation. Holy shit. That's going to blow the rocks off my brain. That is going to blow the fucking rocks off my brain. I'm already experiencing with just one meal a day. Um, extreme and um, yeah, extremely powerful sessions at TM. Now, if I just added in a 48 hours, um, which is quite easy. Well, I say it's quite easy. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm going to get to that point this year, obviously, and do a couple. And I'm um, very excited to experience that transcendental meditation with um, and then the Joey Dispenser work. I'm going to look into with um, with the fasting, everything, get, as someone told me recently, um, everything gets amplified with fasting, everything with long term fasting. Yeah. Intermittent fasting is good, too. But the, those long fasts, if you do those health protocols, if you do anything in a long term fast during it, when your heart is resonating with your brain coherently and your body is just activated, you do any health protocols, breath work, fasting um, with the fasting, breath work, uh, affirmations, visualizations, um, yoga whatever you do exercise whatever you do light exercise you're just going to magnify so tm 
um, weird fasting. Uh, wow, these are these are sign times. It's fucking crazy shit. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I'll go check out John Magtosh. There's so much, Lisa. I'll tell you what I do with that though. What I'm doing with people is I'm I'm that interest me is I go on YouTube and I'll type in their name and interviews. So I'll type in John McIntosh interviews and see if there's any interviews he's done with people that are like half an hour longer and I'll download them onto my podcast and then I get addicted. But at the moment I'm going with the Joey Dispenser. I'm going to download a load, a load of Joey Dispenser. Um, so much so that I'm, I just don't want to listen to someone like Jack Cruz, for example, who, who I normally like, who I normally like, but I'm just not in that mood for his grazing negative kind of like humanity's going for shit. I'm too excited now. I'm too excited uh, um, with the Joey Dispenser stuff to listen to some, you know, negativity, 5G, which is true, which is reality, but I'm just, yeah, I'm just not in that mood for negativity at all in terms of my learning and disciplines, and that only comes from me, and the positivity only comes from your activation of your upgrades and all the shit you're doing in your life that's exciting. That's where positivity comes from. I've got so many experiments to do. I've barely access to my best self, so that's why I'm positive, and that's why I can't relate to conspiracy most of the time anymore. I'll go there sometimes, don't get me wrong, I have an ego too, but I can't sit down there because my life experiences and experimentations aren't conducive with a negative reality, which is reality, and I'm not trying to hide from reality, but I'm trying to, you know, push, we're trying to push a little light into a dark room, isn't it? This, and it's too fun. I'm here for fun. We're all here, here to be happy and healthy, so, you know, that's what I'm going to do. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this video is about, but I appreciate you guys watching, that's for sure. So, wouldn't trash you. Yeah, so that's it. Transcendence, transcendental meditation, transcendence, the fourth state of consciousness. There's definitely more that we can access. And Joey Dispenser is someone we really need to look into. Um, the way he talks and what he talks about and the amount of knowledge that he's got is just fucking shocking. I know that with each pod, like Emmy Fletcher too, with each podcast I listen to, I'm going to get a little bit of tidbit of information from him that's going to simulate into my brain, encourage me to practice more. And so it's going to start clicking, especially with the transcendence. transcendence I'm still doing it twice daily. I'm still experiencing some crazy shit with that. So really, I, I predict that, you know, it won't take me too long, although we'll see. And I won't push for it, but I'll experience transcendence and fourth state of consciousness and no body and no mind. Knowing me, I will fucking, I will blast it. I will force it. <laughs> I will try and force it for the longest time. And my, my ego will be like, Harry, you're forcing it. You can't get in here. You can't get into the quantum field if you're trying to force it because that's ego shit. That's you relating to your body and who you are. You, you're trying to come in as a somebody, Harry. You've got to be a nobody. Yeah, and that's the problem, isn't it? That's the problem. Intent plus freedom from outcome. We try so fucking hard, but when you meditate, you have to let go. Transcendental meditation. Joey Dispenza's work. You've got intent. That's what brings you to the information. You want to experience out body experiences, near death experiences, quantum field, um, subconscious work, experiencing no body and just um, astral projecting, lucid dreaming. You want to experience these things. You have intent and I've fucking got a lot of intent. That's one thing I've always known I've had since I fucking broke myself. But now it's just fun. But the thing with me is now I'm going to have to learn the freedom from outcome. And you know what transcendental meditation teaches me? It teaches me freedom from outcome because in it, you just focus on, you focus on one word, a mantra, and mine's just one from the book. I, I stuck with that. I'm not changing that now. That's going to be the rest of my life. By the way, um, the amount of times I've said the word one in 17 days, 20 minutes, 30 minutes every day, billions, millions of times already. By the time I've ended my life, trillions probably, in it, <laughs> Like crazy person. But the point is that you want to say the mantra, but you don't want to force it. I mean, and you will. And I, I have done and I still do, but I'm getting better at not forcing it as I heal. As the transcendental meditation heals me, as my brain comes back into coherence, instead of forcing it, that's ego shit, going one, 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 really aggressive. Am I doing it right? One, 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 harder, harder, harder. Because my mind, my subconscious is like, okay, try harder, try harder, try and do it. One, 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 one. I do it, and my mind wanders, I'm like, fuck that shit, back to one. I'm really aggressive, but I'm losing my aggression as I heal. And the, and the, the power to get to transcendence comes from not just the intent, the freedom from outcome. Right, and that only comes when your brain and heart are in coherence. I hope that makes sense, because I'm not even sure if I'm chatting shit or not. <laughs> I just resonate with I just resonate with what I'm saying. I might be chatting shit. I don't know a lot, you know. I just know that um, there is an aspect to we do things to in, with intent and discipline, and they're fucking beautiful. But at the point where we do the thing that's good for us, that's beautiful, um, then we have to access freedom from outcome, detachment from the res result. Because if you don't, you're never going to get there. Yeah, I mean, you, it's, just, it's just, it's a paradox. Intent plus freedom from outcome. That is where transcendence for qu a quantum field access, no body, no mind is. You can't want it too much, but at the same time, if you didn't want it at all, you know, how are you going to create value in the world if you don't 
provide and help people and, and want it and want to experience bliss and all this stuff. So, yeah. Oh, lucky me. Yes, everything is fucking perfect. Everything is amazing. And I know it's easy for us to say because I'm not a kid in Africa that's like poor and dying. And, you know, I've got in a way of looking at it um, in a Western world, I've got everything cushy. But no, I, you know, it's not fair. I think it's not fair, actually, to, to say that to us because I think we've been broken. And within the Western world parameters, we've gone through some tough shit. Maybe not in comparison to what um, an African kid is just getting killed randomly, die at two years old, you know, it's Rwanda, Hotel Rwanda, shit like that, you know, mass rape, genocide and shit, you know. But actually, what's what's tougher? What's tougher? Like getting killed off at five, yeah, or being broken and your brain being damaged by the Western world culture and your, your bad parenting culture matrix. I wonder sometimes, you know, us, you know, in a way of looking at it, it's pretty bad what's happened to us in a culture where everyone's supposed to have like shelter and we got all that shit sorted but the brain does fucking crazy shit and we have suicidal people and so many su people kill themselves and stuff like that so yeah it's all about the brain oh sandy mate i what have you been doing the joey dispenser stuff that's awesome it's fucking powerful I, i'm really going to start there's a couple of things this year uh, meditation tr i'm going to keep on with translation meditation definitely and promoting it um, but also, I'm going to look into Joey Dispenser's work and see if I can at, figure out which ones work the best and which ones take discipline and really assimilate how to get to that place of, of happiness and of accessing the quantum field, of having moments of it. If it takes me 10 years, that's cool. But I'm going to start mastering it, that's for sure. Because I know, I finally know that what he's saying is legit and I can understand it at a deep level. And I only could understand it, to repeat, for because I'm doing transcendental meditation. Tra it's elevated my consciousness trans yeah nothing else has um or at least i can i can relate to that experience of what he's talking about because i felt it at times um very slightly during transcendental meditation which i haven't with any of the physical health pro protocols apart from maybe long-term fasting but I, d I don't know for whatever reason i can understand it now and he's fucking amazing and quite honestly i think it's great that we like joe dispenser's work but i'm going to give you ma more props if you actually do it because it's one thing just to go oh yeah joe dispenser he's cool it's another thing, and more important, actually, is to actually do the practices that he's talking about, right? There's a difference between knowing something and doing it, and doing it is way more important than knowing it, you know? It's like, oh, it's cool to know that the quantum field, but I just can't be bothered doing the exercises ever. You know, that's called laziness. You know, the man's here for a fucking reason. He's given us the gifts, and we're, like, giving him, you know, saying, oh, he's cool, but I don't want to do the work. No. I'm, you know, he wants us to do the work, you know, because... Who you? He wants us? Fucking hell, man. This is deep shit. The quantum field doesn't judge. Yeah, this is just another place that we can go to. And to prove that all this is just a joke. Duality and this is not reality, but it's fun. And it's just to play around with. We want to access this stuff. Fourth state of conscious transcendence, quantum fields. You know, you, you can come back here as a much better human. With full understanding of, of why you're here. Of uh, a, a better healing and what you can do. And the potential of the human body. What one man can do. This is something that's powerful in self-improvement. What I've known this for the longest time, you know. Um, what finally, what one man can do, so can another. What one person can do, so can the other. You know, there's nothing special about what Joey Dispenser's had mystical experiences. Oh, it is special. Don't get me wrong, but it could be replicated. That's why he teaches that stuff, you know. And, and people do. And he talks about them. It's very fascinating. Yeah, Javen, divine balance. The balance between the the the, the feminine and the masculine. You know, it's all great to have relationships with your divine opposite, but you should first. I'm speaking to myself, heal both so that my divine masculine is very fucking strong. Too much so, maybe? Maybe. Uh, my divine feminine is fucked up, which is okay, because I'm healing it. So I've got to, you've got to heal both so that I can be whole, because until we heal the damage, then we're not whole, right? We're half a person. I'm like half a person, trying my best. So We've got to heal the brain. And how do, how do we heal the brain hemisphere imbalances? I've got to tell you, though, quickly, the, the, the quickest way I've ever found to, um, the most powerful way to for the corpus callosum and healing the brain hemispheres is transcendental meditation more than even some of my favorite protocols which i won't even name you already know so it's very powerful i can feel it viscerally and it's hard to explain to people how fucked up my brain hemispheres are um but they are and um literally my head goes like <laughs> like when i'm doing transcendental meditation i'm never centered in my body i'm always at an angle because the left brain is too strong but sounds crazy and i can feel it healing I do sun gazing a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do fasting for long periods. Uh, age during sometimes a little bit. But the main one, more powerfully than anything I've ever done, transcendental meditation. And it's because it's building. 
the corpus callosum is growing stronger um but it's because of what i said that the longer you practice tm the more it builds you don't lose it i think the only time you're going to lose um, um the benefits of tm is when you aren't emotionally healthy and you're not you're not looking at the world correctly in that case it might do but i for the longest time i've started when I started, I did CBT on myself, cognitive behavioral therapy. I didn't go to a CBT coach. I, I faced my fears and fixed my own fucking brain. Um, when it was saying, oh, all people hate you, Harry. Um, I took action on that and that changed my belief system from, and that was cognitive behavioral therapy. I manually changed it by my real world action. Um, and that kind of gave me a good level of emotional health long before I came into physical health three years ago. I was already... Uh, not fixed in my brain. I just mean my emotional health was but the way I looked at the world, my values, belief systems, my abundance mentality was already there. And that's important. That's the only way you can go backwards, in my opinion, um, with transcendental meditation. If you've not got good values, beliefs, mindset, um, and um, you're not looking at the world correctly. Yeah, because and I mean by that, the world is abundant. You can be happy. You can be healthy. Pretty much everybody's friendly. Everyone's going through the same shit as you. You're not special. The only person in the world has gone through shit. No, everyone's going through tough shit inside their own brains. In fact, some could be going through so much shit worse than you, they kill themselves. You know, so you can't say that, can you? But holy crap. So, yeah, anyway. Oh, it's way too long. I appreciate you watching, though. <laughs> oh, I'll try that out, David. Yeah, anything that... Um, Rappi up the nose. Adrian up the nose, obviously. And Rappi. Huppi up the nose is very good for those stuff, um, too. But what I love about TM is it's not even something you need to buy. And with TM, you can do it anywhere. You can do it on a train, on a bus. Um, anywhere. It's busy, noisy. You can just close your eyes and do it. And uh, repeat the mantra. And try not to focus too hard, but keep it in the back of your mind. And there we go. It's just accessing at any place, any time. For free. I love the implication that the, you don't have to buy something externally. Or use something externally. It's just internally. It's all internal. It's all fucking internal. Not outward. It's inward, isn't it? But yes, the tools of food are brilliant. And amazing and we should utilize everything that we got really it's not just about one thing so yeah okay i'll read this quick um oh okay all right so i need to watch what the fuck do we know what the bleep do we know yeah so i need to watch that again i watched it ages ago but I, again i wouldn't i watched it ages ago at a time when i was ready for the fame for it. so there we go i need to watch um what the fuck what the bleep do we know again yes i never tell them it's there's so many re whatever reason you have to do meditation um do it because my reasons are different i don't really care about living to be honest with you, I don't care about living to 150. I'm not trying to, I'm, that's not my mastery to, you know, never to say, to put in my mind, I've lived infinitely. It's a good thing to do. It's just not my mastery. I'm probably pretty set probably in my mind that I'm, yeah, 90, 70, 60, die tomorrow, fucking good. That's meant to be, right? So, but yeah, whatever is for you, like Len for the Tenemis definitely does. You do that. Just find a, find your reasons. That's why we do the health community shit. We talk about the benefits of so many things because my ben reason my reasons i told you already it's long term i want to experience in my waking state the same things going on in my brain when i'm doing transcendental meditation which you can but it just takes time it takes a, a lot of practice uh not a lot just a lot of commitment so that's my reason but everyone has different reasons to do different things you've got to find your reasons to get into joey dispenser's work one thing he says might click with you but like he did with me in the podcast today it didn't doesn't click with you you know everyone's different but and that's what makes a good teacher. They'll they'll say so many things that are crazy good that you eventually some everyone's gonna click with it, right? And if you don't click with it, then you're lost. So, all right, that's it. Thank you very much. Um, let's transcend. <laughs> let's transcend. Now, it's such a fucking awesome um experience, uh, mystical experiences, transcendence, and brilliant. I'm I'm sure you guys have had way more. I've never had these experiences before, but I will because I'm gonna use my left brain ego and my discipline, which is pretty much. The only things I'm good for, I'm going to use them to <laughs> to dissipate the ego and transit. It's funny, isn't it? You can use the ego to quiet it down and to experience the nothing and all that shit. I think. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still young. Voting. It's all right. Shit. I didn't turn it off. <laughs>